eight ways to make money from your laptop work at home ideas okay so you want to work from home i get it everybody had to work from home for a while right we were all stuck at home uh, some of us still are i uh, don't know when you're watching this video but we're still in the midst of a little bit of this illness we're going to call it um, and they realized that uh, some people uh, can't make money from home they can't do it but what if you could what if you could take your laptop maybe you got your laptop uh, and you could make money from home well this video is for you then if you've got a laptop and you want to make some money from home you want to watch this entire video because I'm gonna give you eight ways you can do it and we're gonna start right now if you haven't subscribed yet please do so hit that subscribe button down there don't forget to ring the bell Turn on all bell notifications so you're notified every single time I do a new video and that way you'll know when I go live too and I go live a lot and maybe I'll be have a chance to talk to you that'd be kind of cool right now my first way to make money online is manage Facebook ads for businesses a lot of businesses are running Facebook ads now but they don't know what they're doing they don't know how to do it they don't know how to manage them and you're saying whoa JR heck I don't know how to do it I don't know how to manage Facebook ads and I get it none of the people that manage Facebook ads knew how to do it until they knew how to do it but here's the cool thing you can learn as a matter of fact down in the description if you look for Facebook Ads University you can click on that and go through an entire master class on Facebook ads and that can get you started you see Facebook ads can make you a lot of money when you're managing ads for a small business you can charge them a thousand two thousand three thousand dollars a month to manage their ads and the good thing is it only takes about two or three hours a week Per business uh, if you do that you're making some pretty darn good money now after you have five businesses at say fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars you got a pretty substantial income and not having to work a whole lot of hours number two is start a blog start writing about something some niche don't write about random things make sure that your blog is about something in particular uh, we have one on our survival site that's about survival stuff okay go figure right because we have survival food so we sell survival food um, but you could write on recipes you could write on travel you could write on whatever you want and once you start writing and develop an audience you can monetize it you can monetize it through affiliate links maybe you're writing blogs about cooking and you have affiliate links that go back to Amazon where you're selling some of the supplies some of the things they need to cook uh, maybe you have a sidebar on your blog where you can run ads on there and you can get paid on Google Adsense there's a lot of ways to actually monetize a blog you can actually have courses on whatever you're blogging about and sell those courses to your audience you can also use patreon where people can support you through patreon uh, that's another great way to make money number three use test websites test websites are sites where you actually go in and check out somebody's website and this company will pay you a fee usertesting.com is a huge site where you can actually apply there and become a website tester now you're not going to get rich normally you're going to get about ten dollars for every 20 minute test you do but heck that's thirty dollars an hour that's way above what the lowest wage is right now in the united states and you never have to leave your house next thing is you've already got money you just don't need it you sell your gently used clothing on a website there's several websites where you can do this and uh, my wife you kind of turned me on to this because she was selling some of our stuff on there there's one called Poshmark if you've got some designer clothes and bags and hats and shoes and all this stuff you can put it on Poshmark and people will actually buy it and once they purchase it all you have to do is ship it out to them and there's other sites I mean there's eBay there's uh, thread up uh, there's Facebook marketplace there's a lot of places you can do this and you can make some money with a good old laptop and clean out that closet number five is online data entry now we hire people to do this all the time because at times we'll get a lot of orders in on our sites and we just don't have the time to put it in or I may need to get some data moved from one site to another site so we're having somebody do that right now and there's always companies that are looking for people who can enter data it takes virtually no experience whatsoever and you can go ahead and put a profile up on Upwork or freelancer or any of these sites like Fiverr and say that you'll do data entry work now data entry work is not going to be the highest level paying jobs no of course not it won't uh, if you want higher paying level jobs then of course you have to have more skills but if you just want to gain some extra income on some projects that are pretty simple data entry is a great way to go about it number six be an online tutor online tutors are great and you know a lot of people think about well I could teach English yeah you could teach English or Russian or Spanish or whatever but you can teach all kinds of things online you know there's math there's chemistry whatever it is that you're good at you can teach online what you want to do is go to one of these sites that you can actually become a part of that already has the traffic now my recommendation is Wyzant. 
when you go to wise Ant, they're going to ask you several questions about what you want to learn when you want to learn it what time of day you want to learn it and then what they do is they match you up with a bunch of instructors that fit exactly what you want you can be one of those instructors you could be the person making the money and a lot of these instruction jobs these tutoring jobs will pay you 35 to a hundred dollars an hour that's not bad income for never leaving your house and just using a good old laptop number seven you can become a freelance writer writers are so in need nowadays they're in need for a lot of different areas and you know they can be to write ebooks it could be to write articles it could be to write blogs it could be to write sales copy it could be to write emails there's so many different areas and the cool thing about writing is if you if you understand your language and you can write in your language you could branch off into many of these different areas you know people who write emails they can get 1500 to 2500 dollars for a single email one single email why because that single email could be a sales email that generates that company thousands or even millions of dollars based on their list that they're sending out to so uh, i want you to think about some niches out there and different ways you can write and you can just google writing jobs and find all these different jobs out there you can list yourself on fiverr on upwork on freelancer on the main three that i always look at uh, and you can put up there what you charge per hour what you charge for a job and the thing i would tell you is be very specific say you know i'll do a sales letter for two hundred dollars you know three paragraph sales letter 200 bucks whatever it is put your credentials there whatever they are if you don't have credentials okay obviously don't do that one but i'm just giving you an example the same thing with blogs and articles maybe you have an interest in photography and you want to write photography blogs uh, maybe you want to write ebooks for photography or cooking or camping or whatever it is or sewing whatever it is that you have an interest in there's somebody that needs to hire you it used to be years ago before the internet you had to be in the same town with the person and try to find the person well nowadays you know you just go online and you can search hundreds of millions of people and you're probably going to find the niche that you want to work in it's that simple number eight you can start a freelance business now a freelance business can be any type of skills that you have it could be writing it could be blogging it could be doing videos it could be editing all these companies around the world now need freelancers to do these single jobs they're starting to figure out they don't want to hire a full-time video editor when they only do two or three videos a week they just need somebody to do those videos for them maybe they need some bookkeeping done maybe they need some transcription done and you know you can use google translate and it will translate stuff for free into your language and then once it's translated into your language if it's from another language all you've got to do is make it coherent in english or in spanish or in french or whatever your first language is and you can start a freelance business doing that i know of people who have started an entire agency doing this and then once they get the job they go out and find somebody to actually do the job and they arbitrage it and they actually say well i'll charge you 500 bucks they go out and pay somebody 200 for it they make 300 and they didn't even do the job um, but you want to make sure you have reputable people working for you but you can actually do that yourself and go out to these sites and find freelancers companies don't want to do this stuff a lot of people will say well jr if it's so easy why didn't a company just go to some of these sites and hire people to do them because they don't want to they just want to have the job done they just want to have it done so if you approach them and say this is what i can do for you and this is the cost of what it is in most cases they'll hire you if you're fair and you're good at what you do and you just got to make sure that the people that work for you are doing their jobs you check it out send it over to your client and boom you've made some money it's simply that easy now i want to give you a bonus and that bonus is you can always work as a virtual assistant in other words you don't have to have any skills all you got to do is be able to go online and do stuff for them maybe schedule doctor's appointments maybe schedule traveling uh, maybe schedule their cleaning pickup or deliveries of food or whatever it is that those people need done everybody out there nowadays really needs a little assistance i know i do uh, and virtual assistants are great because think of it this way guys let's say you're a virtual assistant and you make a couple hundred dollars a week and you say well that's only eight hundred dollars a month you say well great but what if you're doing it for 10 people you know you probably won't be busy 40 hours a week at 200 bucks a week but you could probably take on some more clients now if you tell somebody you're going to be working 40 hours a week for them and you agree on a salary whatever it is you best work 40 hours a week for them okay that's really super important don't cheat people make sure they get what they're paying for however most people don't want a full-time virtual assistant they want somebody they can work an hour or two a day for them uh, or maybe a few hours a week and that's why they're hiring a virtual assistant because they need that little bit of assistance but they don't want a full-time employee so that's where you come in you know a final word about making money online 
making money online has just come about really in its own i would say the last 10 15 years uh, and so many people accept it now i remember when we first started some of our companies and we sell physical products along with digital products a lot of people didn't want to put their credit card on online they would call us up and put their orders in now it is so rare to get a phone call where somebody says you know i want to place an order with you uh, the only time we get a call like that is if they don't understand how to fill out the order form or they're having some issue like that but for the most part we don't get any phone calls um, you know, we used to think we needed a receptionist and all that. There's nobody to answer a phone anymore because everybody understands online stuff. And since they do, that's an opportunity for you. If you're not taking advantage of this on the opportunities that we have online nowadays, you're totally missing out. And you know what? Online stuff is really kind of gobbling up a lot of jobs. So if you have a job right now, technology comes along and it can do it cheaper. You may not have a job in the future. So you may want to check this out, whether you think you need to or not. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it and do me a favor at the bottom in the comments section, any questions you have about this subject or anything about selling products online. Uh, I've sold millions of dollars of both digital and physical products online. And I love to share this information with you. I love to help you and get you going. I uh, love to watch people start running, grow online businesses. So if I can help you in any way, please put your comments below. If you like this video, give me a comment on that. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up for that too. Give me a comment and a thumbs up. And you know what? I want you to subscribe too. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Anything else? Yeah. Ring the bell. Make sure you ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified every single time i do a new video or i go live and i do go live a lot so maybe i can talk to you online i also have a course down there 97 dollars course but for a limited time i'm giving it away free you can go down there click on that course opt in and watch that course i think it'll help you out a lot thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.